What's up everyone? Welcome back to 2 Juicy Garage. Here we got the turbo for the Toyota pickup. Pull it out of the box. So Turbonetics reached out to me and they ended up sending me a brand new unit. It's the same exact size. They did it under warranty, which is great. One reason why I love Turbonetics. I'm gonna give you guys a quick unboxing video. Here it is. Set the box aside. Here's the turbo. Brand new. You guys seen my post on Instagram, you guys will know this came in. This thing is ready to go. Put this back on. We gotta get this thing installed. I gotta take this tag off. You guys would like to know the size is 6086. There you go. Throw that in the box. The good thing is they sent us back our clamp that we had. We had to cut this clamp, that way we can put the uh, oil return line. So good thing they sent us back our original clamp. So the turbo is the same exact size as I had it before. It's a Turbonetix 6086.8. I want to give a massive shout out to Reggie over there at Turbonetix. He really did hook me up with this. He treated me right. Their customer service is awesome. That's why I love Turbonetix and I will always stick to them. I do plan on boosting the Z in the future and for sure that turbo is going to probably be another Turbonetix turbo. I need to gather all the bolts and everything and all the lines that I need to plug back in. I got to get a new gasket for the manifold and I have to make a new gasket for the oil return which sucks because that was hard to do i have already cleaned the surface of the oil return line and i have made the gasket here you can see i cut off the outer edges and then cut the bolt holes a little bit this should be the perfect size for that got the new gasket whenever you guys put your gasket on make sure you got the bevel up that way the turbo crushes it You don't need no Teflon because uh, it's a flare. I usually like to tighten it down to where it's like straight and lined up with this. Okay, that's pretty tight. Okay, now I can put the housing on nice and tight. Take off this here, slide it down here, and I slide this boot over top. Right there. So now we gotta prime the turbo. But before I prime the turbo, I gotta change the oil. So meanwhile, I let this thing drain the oil. I'm gonna run over to Advanced Auto Parts with the Z to go and get that oil filter. Get back, put that oil filter on, add the oil, and then we gotta prime the turbo. All right, so I got the filter, so now we gotta head back home and install it. All right, and we're back. I already got the old oil filter off. It was a little bit hard, so I had to get the pliers to get it off. And now I got the new K&N. Slide the K&N one out. Gotta get some oil in the ring, but before I do that, I'm gonna test it, make sure it works. If this is the right one. So the oil that I'm going to be using is Schaefer, of course. It's 7,000 Synthetic Plus Racing Engine Oil, which is 20W50. Add a little bit of oil on the ring, put, the, put this on, and I have to put the plug back on the pan. I hope I don't spill none, because this is expensive oil. I'm already spilling it. Okay, now I gotta prime the turbo. So what I did is I disconnected my ignition wire, go into my spark plug box, that way the engine does not start. All right, so now I'm gonna plug this in, start the truck. So I was having issues with the oil return leaking once again so now I decided to put an o-ring and a little bit of silicone to seal it up 
You guys might be asking yourself, an well, O-ring, that's going to burn up, but the one that comes with the turbo has a little O-ring on it to seal it up. So I think that's going to be the best solution for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on like that and then let it sit for probably about a good 30 minutes and then I'll uh, start it up and see if it leaks anymore. I got Tina outside of the garage and uh, I was messing a little bit with the LED light bar in front. It, it did get bent. See all this bangs up. It turns out I bent what it connects to on the bottom of the intercooler. So I had to fix it and it was loose. So I got that nice and tightened up. I checked the oil. Oil is a little high, but I'm just going to drive it easy real quick. Take it down the road, see how it performs, and then I'll drain some of the oil out. So let's take this thing for a spin, see how she performs. Starts right up. That's one good thing. I hear the turbo. That's one good thing. Got some burn. I don't see no oil. I think it's just breaking in. I have I do see oil on the top of the oil feed right there, if you guys can see that. We'll check it out when I get back home. Turbo's still spinning by the way. So it was leaking oil on the oil feed line actually and that's actually the one that comes from factory so turbonetics they have like a blue marking on it and you can see how much more i had to tighten it up it's like half a turn um it was leaking oil through there so i'm getting ready to put some teflon back on this one and then return them back in tighten them all back down okay so i put the fittings back on i already drained the oil as well so what I did with the fitting this time when I put it on, instead of routing it right over top of the downpipe, I decided to go away from it, try to keep the heat away from the oil going into the turbo. So, you know, instead of coming out through here, it's getting all the heat from the housing and the downpipe, I got to go into the side. I just think it, hopefully that should help a little bit with heat, but um, we should be good now. Oil level is good. Everything's good. So I'm going to start it up, get it out of here. And then now I got to park the car here. If you guys have not already, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell. That way you guys can stay notified with what I post for Tina. By the way, this is Tina, if you guys don't know, this is my boosted Toyota pickup. And then that's Tonyo, the 350Z. Pretty soon I will be making a video on the new 300ZX that we have. And I will be explaining to you guys exactly what that car is, what the purpose of it is, and everything about it. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!